Hey Capricorn, welcome to your weekly reading. This is a weekly forecast for all Capricorns out there who may be watching Capricorn Sun, Moons, and Risings. Also, if you are a Capricorn on the house cusp, we're going to look at six cards today for your weekly forecast. How you see yourself today, the theme for you this week, or the big picture, something you've already learned, Capricorn, that will be useful for you to remember. Your challenge this week. The lesson you are learning now and a gift you will receive this week. So let's see what's going on for Capricorn. November 19th through the 25th, please. What are their weekly messages? Give me six cards for Capricorn. Suns, moons, and risings. Capricorn on the cusp. November 19th through the 25th. Some of you could be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. I'm seeing definitely Aries and Sag coming up. Uh, could be a tower situation. Okay. I'm um, definitely seeing here that there's someone who is holding back or they're acting, mm, I would say, out of line, out of character. There's either too much passion or too passionate or they're holding back their passion. So how you see yourself today Capricorn you have the page of swords reversed. Either uh, this can be some kind of miscommunication or miscommunication, um, difficulty with words and speech, difficult communication. Page of swords can be kind of snarky. This can be someone who's like bitingly sarcastic or just mean. Um, they might say things that are hurtful. Uh, this can often be a younger air sign too, but you may also sneak, be you know, spying on someone or hear something that's from a third party. Often this is my, you know, spy card, espionage card. So you might be um, doing some, well, I wouldn't say research, but you might be um, suspicious of someone here and waiting for their, you know, attack or counterattack or reply or something like that. So overall I'd say just like a little bit suspicious, maybe more along the lines of probably some difficult communication. Theme for you this week in the big picture Capricorn. We have a sun in reverse. Okay. This indicates here that there's a dimming down of the energy. Um, sometimes it can indicate depression, though I, I'm not saying that you're depressed. Um, it could just be that your ego's been bruised, or you're dealing with a fire sign, a Leo or an Aries, in which case could be that their ego has been bruised. Also, I'm seeing like if you have a child or something, it, it's possible that that child got hurt doing something, so definitely pay close attention if you have small children. Overall, I'd also say if you're if you're in a very sunny environment, definitely wear sunscreen, because this can sometimes indicate sunburn. But um I feel like you're there's generally you're gonna be happy, but there's also just a little bit of clouds over your sunshine. So someone might be trying to dim your light, don't let them. Definitely stay stay positive as much as possible. Um, and there's also a need here for you to probably get in touch with your your inner child a bit. To, um, for example, I sometimes get this for people whose egos have gotten bruised, <laughs> maybe through an argument or, or through a an unkind word. So something that you have already learned that will be useful for you to remember. 
We have Queen of Cups in reverse. So this is a water sign energy, a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces female. Something that you've already learned that will be useful for you to remember. Um, in general, Queen of Cups reverse is very moody. She can also, um, yeah, she can have mood swings for sure. Um, this can also be someone who kind of has those crocodile tears. So she cries over the little things. And she's usually, she's usually uh, also takes on other people's stuff pretty easily. So it's saying that you've already learned how to either deal with someone like this or you know that this person is going to be like this. It can also be that you know that you have like maybe some kind of mood disorder or mood issues or you're moody and there's a need for you to stay centered, uh, to stay focused, to try and even out those hormones as much as possible. Okay, because I'm seeing someone here who could be suffering from some kind of depression that's related to hormonal issues or possibly uh, if you're a female and you've just given birth, it could be like a postpartum type situation. So, yeah, don't be afraid to get help. Don't be afraid to reach out to the proper channels and so forth if you need medication or if you need, you know, people to be a little uh, extra sensitive around this time for you. Your challenge this week, Capricorn, yeah, is temperance in reverse. So this to me is, I'm really getting the sense that someone here is having some anger management issues. Uh, there's a need here for you to stay balanced, stay even keel, and don't lose your temper. Um, and also do things in moderation. That's a challenge for you this week to do things in moderation. It's It can be kind of an all or nothing type situation or you're emphasizing one um, aspect of your life over another, like you're working more than you're spending time with your family or you're you know, you're doing too much of one thing and not enough of another. It can also be here that um, there's no consensus. So your challenge is to find consensus, to find the middle ground, to find the harmony and the balance in this situation, to try and, you know, maybe it's uh, adjusting, uh, just issues adjusting in general, but adjusting people to each other. Uh, making adjustments a little bit at a time, like not trying to quit cold turkey or, you know, trying to change too many things at one time, like your exercise routine and your diet. Uh, it's better to just do things gradually um, so that you don't throw off your whole game. Okay, a lesson you are learning now. We have three of wands reversed. This usually talks about plans falling through, especially when it comes to long-term plans. Um, usually this means someone isn't waiting anymore, or their ships are not coming in, so whatever they were hoping for, they don't see growth potential, or they're very apprehensive. Um, so for a lesson that you're learning, possibly, um, you know, positive expectancy. Um, expect the best, but prepare for the worst. I would also say that you should check your travel plans, check the weather. Um, this can be issues with like long-term uh, relationship issues within long-term relationships or or even foreign travel. And so here it's like it's saying like you know don't wait, don't wait, and. Uh, <clears throat> Also, do a better job planning, maybe. It could have to do with your your ability to have foresight and to plan for the future. You need to start thinking long term. Because here I'm seeing someone that is is, is not future oriented. They're, they're not even thinking that there's going to be anything great happening. Or they don't see that there's going to, to be a, a, you know, a good outcome. They're very apprehensive. So it, it could be saying, you know... Um, have some foresight, you know, prepare, like I said, for the, uh, expect the best, but prepare for the worst. That's what I was going to say. A gift you'll receive this week. Oh, we've got the Page of Cups. So you might be receiving a little love letter, a little love message. Um, this could also be a child here. 
I'm seeing also water signs, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. This is the Pisces card. So you might be getting a little message here, a little text message, a little email. I'm definitely seeing someone very sweet, very innocent, very caring. And I feel like this person is going to really bring some loving energy into your life. Um, this can also just be a very sweet child or someone that you're very close to. So all in all, it does work out. It does look good. Capricorn, thank you so much for tuning in for this uh, weekly forecast. I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday if you celebrate. And I'll definitely see you back around here soon. Take care.